Australia's Great Barrier Reef saw its most widespread loss of live coral last year, with record heat globally triggering a mass bleaching event. Australia's Great Barrier Reef has suffered the largest decline in coral cover in two of its three regions over the last year. That's according to a new report released by the Australian Institute of Marine Science on Wednesday. The sharp decline was due to the mass coral bleaching event that was driven by the global marine heat wave that actually affected coral reefs all around the world. Daniela Ceccarelli is an ecologist with the Institute's long-term monitoring program. She said in the northern Greater Barrier Reef, coral cover dropped by about a quarter between 2024 and 2025. In the southern reef, almost one-third of high coral cover was lost. So in the northern and southern regions, this is actually the largest decline we've ever seen in 39 years of annual monitoring. The reef is the world's largest living ecosystem. It stretches for some 1,500 miles off the coast of the northern Australian state of Queensland. Since 2016, the reef has experienced five summers of mass coral bleaching. Large sections of the reef turned white due to heat stress, putting them at greater risk of death. The new report shows that the 2024 event had the largest footprint ever recorded on the reef, with high to extreme bleaching across all of its three regions. The Great Barrier Reef is not currently on the UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites that are in danger, and the UN recommends it should be added. But Australia's government has lobbied for years to keep the reef off the endangered list as it could damage tourism. The reef contributes $4.2 billion to Australia's economy annually. Cecarelli says local management and interventions to help corals adapt and recover are important. She also warns of biodiversity loss if bleaching continues. Climate change is without a doubt the biggest threat to coral reefs globally and the Great Barrier Reef. And so what we need to do to secure a future for coral reefs is to cut greenhouse gas emissions.